All right then, electrolysis. Well, for SL, you need to know one sort of electrolysis, and HL, you need to know four other sorts of electrolysis. So the SL is just liquid. And for HL, dilute and concentrated sodium chloride, copper sulfate with graphite, electrodes, which are inert, and copper sulfate with copper electrodes, which are not inert. Other ones you can work out if you understand these. Right, let me just draw out a couple of electrolysis equipments here. So electrolysis means putting in electricity. The power packs at the top, power packs put electrons where they don't want to go. All right then. So positive electrodes, negative electrodes there. Just to remember, take the long one, break it in two, and that makes a plus. That's how you remember that the long one is the positive electrode. All right, let's start off with dilute sodium chloride. So each time you have to write down the ions that are present. So those from the ionic compound dissolved and H plus and OH minus from the water. Looking at the positive ions, they're attracted to the negative electrode by electrostatic attraction. So which one will be discharged? Will I be making sodium or hydrogen? Well, you have to look at the standard electrode potential list. The lowest on the list is discharged. So remember that, the lowest on the list is discharged. Here's the list. And the lowest on the list, the one with the highest standard electrode potential, in other words, is hydrogen. Okay, so I'm going to be making hydrogen at the negative electrode. So it picks up an electron from the negative electrode. And it's going to make hydrogen now. It's got to be H2. Just balance that out there. Smashing. So the negative electrode is full of electrons. And hydrogen's going to pick up them from there. Looking at the negative ions, they're going to be attracted to the positive electrode. And this series of discharges tells you which one's going to be preferentially discharged. OH minus beats Cl minus. And sulfate, no one knows what the hell that does. I can't even find it on the internet or my friends or people that write textbooks. No one knows. Oh, right then. OH minus. Okay, that wins. That's going to make oxygen. Now, this looks like a horrible equation, but it's, it's in the data booklet, so you don't have to memorize it. As long as it's paper two. So the electrons are being pulled off the OH minus and pumped around to the negative electrode. Electrons don't want to do that. They don't want to be pumped around to the negative electrode. Well, that's what the battery does at the top, the power pack. Puts electrons where they don't want to go. All right, then. So if they ask you for your observations, what you see, you can't say you see hydrogen. You have to say you see colorless bubbles at each electrode. All right, then. Concentrated sodium chloride. Once again, write out the ions. H plus is still lowest on the list. And so I'm going to see hydrogen there. And OH minus, oh, that makes O2, doesn't it? No, no, I'm sorry. If it's concentrated then the more concentrated one is discharged. So that means chloride is going to be attracted to the positive electrode, have an electron ripped off, and going to make chlorine gas. What do you see? Green bubbles. Let's look at the ones with copper sulfate. So copper sulfate with inert electrodes, such as graphite or platinum and copper sulfate with copper electrodes, which are not inert. Put in the uh, charges on the electrodes. All right then, so same as before, what's lowest on the list? You know, copper two plus is lowest on the list. So that's gonna be preferentially discharged. OH minus, gonna make oxygen. That's pretty straightforward, just like the other ones we saw. So copper 2 plus is going to stick on the negative electrode. It's going to be plated on. Oxygen gas is going to be released at the positive electrode. All right, let's look at the one with active electrodes. Mm, it's not the same. This is a special case you just have to learn. So let's look at the electrolyte, the solution. Uh, copper 2 plus is attracted to the negative electrode and it gets copper plated. So copper plates on that electrode. 
And on the positive electrode, copper turns to copper 2 plus. Oh, so one electrode gets bigger and one gets smaller. The next video in this series explains this in more detail and shows you the actual experiment. You might want to use the words reduction and oxidation. Now the colour of that solution, the copper 2 plus colour is as one's being added to the solution, one's being removed, so the colour's going to remain the same.